All right, this is going to be a quick guide on how to decode packets, and we're going to use Wireshark to uh, grab a capture, and we're going to see how Wireshark breaks this all down for us. So I've grabbed the traffic on my Wi-Fi card here. I've already run it. I chose this as, a, as an example to work on. So we click on a packet, and down here at the very bottom, we have what's represented in hex for us. So we're going to grab a screenshot of that, and we're going to work through this. I'm going to expand this in size a little bit, bring up my notes. All right. So the uh, first 12 hex digits are always the MAC address. And the MAC address is actually in hex, so we don't have to convert it. So the MAC address, the destination is indeed 9CV6D0C8. The source is the next 12. And then the type is the next 4. And this is the end of the Ethernet header. And we can confirm this with Wireshark. If we click on the Ethernet here, we can see that this is all Ethernet. This is indeed the destination MAC address, the source. MAC address and then the type 0800 and type 0800 maps to IP4 which tells us the next section is going to be IP4 if, if it were 0806 it would be ARP and so on so moving on to IP I'll choose a different color for this so the first hex digit here let's use uh, green first hex digit tells us what type it is so 4 it's IP4 the next is that next digit is the header length, which is 5, which we need to multiply by 4 to get the bytes, which is 20 bytes. So the end of the header, so this is 1 byte, this is 2 bytes, this is 3, and that goes all the way to 20, which is down here. So get rid of those circles. This is the end of the IP header. The next two hex digits we have is the service type right here, so whether or not this is voice over IP and has any priority on traffic. In this case, it's 00, zero which is not set. The next four is the total length, so 0096, which taking our calculator here uh, from standard, we can choose programmer, and then we can choose whether we want to feed it hex data, decimal. We're going to feed it some hex data. And 0096 in hex is 150 in decimal. So having converted this to decimal, it tells us in bytes the total length of the packet. So 150 bytes. Um, each of these rows is 16 hex digits. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 16 144 plus Four in the very bottom row here. So 144 plus these four is 148 plus these two is 150. So it is indeed 150 bytes long for the total packet and that matches up. So the packet does indeed get rid of this ruler real quick. Does indeed end down here. It's the end of the packet. Bring back my ruler continue working through this. So we just did the total length. Next four is the IP ID. So 2921 is the IP ID. So 2921 in hex is 10529 in decimal. And we can confirm this in Wireshark again. So we were working now, Ethernet we did, we're working now in IP. And we can see that it was indeed version 4. It was indeed 20 bytes long. There was no differentiated services set, so no priority traffic like voice over IP. The total length was 150 bytes long. The ID field was 10529. And next, we're going to work on this section. So IP ID, we, we just checked. It is 10529. And now we're going to check the flags and the offset. So we have to take the next four bytes here. Sorry, four hex digits, not bytes. Four zero zero. And four zero zero in hex. In but this one this one gets converted to binary. So this 
is, and we take the first three bits. So 400 converts to 16 binary digits down here. The first three of those are the flag, and the last 13 are the offset. So the first three are 0, 1, 0, and bit 1 is the reserve bit, bit 2 is the don't fragment bit, and bit 3 is the more fragments. Bring you back the screenshot. And we can confirm. So 0, 1, 0 were the flags, and we can confirm this here. So 0, 1, 0, and in this case, the don't fragment bit is set. After the flag and the offset, we have the time to live, how many hops the packet's going to take. In this case, 4, 0 as the TTL. And then the type, 06. And then the checksum is 4. Yeah, sorry, 4 right here. And we're going to go convert. The time to live was 40 in hex, which is 64 in decimal. And the protocol is 06 in hex, which is also 6 in decimal. And here we can see 06 in hex converts to the IP protocol number 6, which is TCP. So if you go to the protocol numbers here, you could see what each one maps to. So in this case, it's telling us that the next portion will be TCP, could also be UDP if it had a 011, uh, one, if it had a 01, it would be ICMP, and so on. Moving back to our screenshot, so, okay, the time to live, the type we have is 06, which is TCP, and then we have the checksum, which is 8B, BF. Then the next eight hex digits are our source IP, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the source IP, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is the destination IP, and that's the end of the header. So to convert this, C0, A8, so we have to convert each, end of each octet. So C0 in hex is 192 in decimal, A8 is 168, O2 is 2, and 1B is 27. So 192.168.2.27 is the IP, and if we go down, we can see it is indeed 192.168.2.27, and the destination is the same except for the last octet. So the last, it should be the same, C08A02, and it is indeed C08A02, except the last octet is in this case 16 in hex, which maps to 22 in decimal. So those are the source IP and the destination IP. So we're now done with the IP header. So looking at the screenshot, red was the Ethernet header, green was the IP header, and now we're moving on to TCP because this right here, the 06, told us the next part was TCP, if you remember. So moving on to TCP, the first four are the source port. Let's change colors is the source port. Next four is the destination port. The next eight are the sequence number and then the ACK number. And then 50 is the header length. We'll convert all this right now. So we'll start with the source port 1F49. So 8009 is the port, the source port. And 0427 is 1063 is the destination port. And let's confirm this. So we have now finished the IP. And we can see it also highlights where we were working. Next, we have TCP. And it is indeed 8009 and 1063 for the port numbers. And then continuing on, we have the sequence number, which is 2E D10409. And that comes out to a huge number, 600, 900, 617. We can confirm again. Okay, I think I did this wrong. Let me go back. Yeah, I did. Okay, 2E D10409. So I did do that wrong. Okay, 785449, if we go to Wireshark. 
785449. So make sure you type it correctly in the calculator. Don't be dumb like me. Then we have the ACK number, which is D23D, convert that. So D23D, DEE1, which comes to 3,527,270. And we have that right here. The ACK number is 3,527,270, blah, blah. And then we have the header length. So this one gets a little more complicated. The header length here is the two hex digits, five zero. So five zero, we actually have to convert this to binary. So five zero in hex is zero one zero one zero 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 zero. We take the four left bits, which is zero one zero one. We're gonna clear this. We're gonna switch to binary, do zero one zero one. And this maps to five in decimal. We're gonna take that five decimal, multiply it by four, and we get the total length, this section right here. We get the total length of the header in bytes. So again, one, two, we're gonna count all the way to 20. So the end of the header is here. So this is 20 bytes. After the, TC, the uh, header length, we have the TCP flags. So 50 was the header length, five zero, sorry. And one eight in hex are the TCP flags. And this also ne needs to get converted to binary. We're taking our calculator, we go to one eight, oh, switch to hex, one eight in binary is zero 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 one one zero zero. And that maps into this little thing here. So zero 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 one one zero zero. So in this case, A and P should be set. So the ACK and the push field should be set. If we map those digits in, so again zero 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 one one zero. So A and P should be set. So I can write this down here. So eighteen maps to A and P. And if we check in Wireshark, if we go down here are the flags and the A and the P field are set. So the ACK field and the push field are indeed set. So still correct, still everything is working, we're good. Moving on from the from the TCP flags, we have the window size. Move up a little bit. So the four after the flags are the window size. So 0644 is the window size in hex. 0644 is 1604 is the window size. So that's how many bytes it's going to wait for before requiring an ACK. So let's confirm that. Window size is 1604. And it is indeed 1604. So still on track. Next four is the checksum. So we have 03E8. This is checksum. So 03 E8. So the checksum would be 1000. And then the urgent pointer, whether or not this is urgent. And in this case, it is not. Nothing is set. 000. zero, zero. And then this last part, the TCP options, there can be something here or there could not. And the only way we know this is based on the header length, which we had calculated ab above. And we know that the header length, because of this mark that we put in here, has ended. So this is the end of the header. There's nothing more. There's no TCP option set. And now the remainder is the data. So the data has to be at least 8 bytes plus. So all of this down here should be the data. All the way from 17 down to A7. And we can confirm this in Wireshark. If we go all the way down, we can actually close this and the payload, the data, is indeed from 17 all the way down to A7. And we can see all of this in Wireshark. So if we close this again, we can see that the entire frame highlighted in blue down there. We have decoded the part in blue, which was the MAC address and the type. Then we decoded the part in blue down there, which was the IP, and we decoded the TCP portion. And if we look at that in terms of colors, Ethernet was in red, which we decoded. The green part was the IP, which we decoded. And the orange 
was TCP. And if it were UDP, it would be a lot shorter. It would probably end somewhere like, like this. T UDP is quite short. And that's how you decode a packet. So this took me 15 minutes to explain. Um, most people by semester four still didn't grasp this. It took me four hours to figure this out and explain it in 15. So yay. Thank you, school. <laughs>